seminar here is about using technology, really any kind of technology, but uh, hopefully coming out of the seminar you get some ideas, maybe realize some things that you could be doing a little bit better, save time, save money, um, maybe make things, uh, organize your office a little bit better, um, basically make yourself uh, more productive. Um, I'm going to cover a few areas. Um, basically, we're going to go from call taking through dispatching uh, into the driver workflow, accounting, and then uh, also like your impound lot management and everything else. Um, so, again, hopefully we'll get some uh, benefit out of what we do here. So, how many people here do uh, motor club work? You guys do motor clubs? Do you guys do motor clubs? Good. <laughs> how about you over there? Okay, with the motor clubs, they are doing digital dispatching. Okay, it's starting to become a big, big thing with them. They're all getting their own apps going. Um, they want to start to also, they're going to start tracking your vehicles. Um, they want those status updates. You know, Mercedes has got a big thing where they want to be able to see a pop up display, it shows you who your truck driver is, where they're at on the map, and how long they're going to get to you. So, Mercedes is doing it. I had an interesting conversation with somebody at uh, Toyota. And I guess they had their own version of On, um, OnStar. And uh, I guess they're actually, the, they used to give it away for two years for free. And they realized only 3% of their customers actually renew it after that first two years. So they're actually doing away with some of that stuff. So it's going to be interesting to see how some of this stuff plays out. Obviously, the higher end vehicles are going to probably continue to do so. Well, with digital dispatching, you also have the ability to um, do that through some of your accounts, too. So you could have your accounts send you calls electronically as well. Um, but um, on the motor club side, it could increase your call volume. It's going to take that call taking time down to, to seconds instead of minutes, having to deal with somebody, especially if you're on a police call. You might be talking to the police department or somebody a little bit more important. That call comes in, instead of putting that phone down and having to take the answer that call, you're getting it electronically, so it makes it a little bit easier to uh, answer those calls. Plus then also your ETAs are a little bit quicker getting that information through to your drivers better. And uh, like I said, also get, get uh, calls out from your customers. Um, if you guys do motor club work, um, this is a typical screen here from uh, Cross Country. This is one of our customers. Um, notice he's got a 99% acceptance rate. His, his ETA has gone down. Um, I, I know of a couple other customers that knocked their time down by 10, 15 minutes um, per call using the digital stuff. And also, a lot of the clubs nowadays are starting to look at this as to how they rate you and how many calls they give you. Okay. Um, Getting similar information, call coming in. So, um, now with the call taking side of it, you know, a lot of people, if they're using pen and paper, if they're using software, you know, do you get the right information the first time? And if you're writing it in, do you validate that address? Is that address a good address? Um, you know, specific accounts. Do uh, you know? Do your accounts need a PO in order to get the driver out to the job, or do you need a, a vehicle ID number with the vehicle that you're towing? Um, those types of things. If you're using software, you should be able to set that up so that your dispatchers do ask the right questions as they're taking that call. Gets them all off the phone quicker. Gets more accurate information out to your driver as well. Uh, also, if you if you do some things like that, instead of having to maybe have a book there that you got to look up pricing, obviously your normal accounts you're used to what the pricing is, but using some kind of software program or whatever should allow you to just put in your service, get your price out. That way you're you're quoting that job a lot more accurately to the customer as well. And there's not a lot of miscommunication when the driver gets out on the job. A um, couple other things that are kind of interesting. Uh, with, with some of the technologies out here, but it's motor smartphones, they're able to track you now. You know, you're able to turn on tracking, you're able to get turn by turn navigation. Um, with that technology, we're able to pinpoint where that customer is out on the road. So what we do is we send a text message out to the, to the customer, they'll tell you what that four digit number is. It'll come back and it'll actually return to where they're, they're located. Um, interesting side of that, I had a customer in Utah that uh, prior to this, it would have really saved him. It was actually the night before we were, he left for the um, show out in San Diego. But uh, with that, he basically got a call, and it was a heavy call. The guy said he was at mile marker 10. So he's like, okay, so he headed up to the north side of the state, 
where he said 10 miles inside the state of Utah. Headed, or, yeah, headed up there, the guy wasn't around. Turns out he said, I'm at mile marker 10 from the border, so he had to the south side of the state. Still wasn't there. Turns out the guy was at mile marker 10 in Idaho. Now, he got paid for all that time and everything else, but now that all the wear and tear on that truck, wear and tear on him, I mean, he got back at like 3 o'clock in the morning, tired. Um, so using something like that, we've allowed him to find where that person is. You know, truck drivers, as much as they're on the road, they sometimes never realize where they're actually at. So something like that would... Uh, would allow you to find those guys. Uh, it's going to also improve your ETAs. So, you know, if you're in Columbus and somebody says they're on I-70, not sure what side of town they're on or whatever, using that type of technology could, uh, uh, again, improve those ETAs. And we can, you can turn around and charge that customer for locating them. Uh, we charge a dollar if you use that service through ours. But this is a screenshot of what happens. Um, so it does pinpoint them. If they're out on the highway, it's, it's pretty darn tight. Now, it's not going to tell you if they're on the northbound or southbound side, uh, but that's pretty easy to figure out from there. At least it's going to get you there. Dispatching. Um, when I started, I've, I've been working with Beacon for nine years, like I said. When I started, it was almost everybody had the next telephone, the chirp phones, and, and the radios. And prior to that was the, you know, your, uh, I'm not sure of the system, but your, your radio systems and where you got your antennas and everything else. So the technology's gotten better. Back then, driver had to pull off the side of the road. Well, the notepad, tie in what they're doing, get back into traffic and get going and doing that with stuff. With, um, with this dispatching now with the GPS technology as well, you can find who the truck is that's closest. Dispatch it out to either a unit in the truck, a smartphone, a text message, whatever it is. Now that driver's not stopping what they're doing, getting out of traffic, pulling into a parking lot somewhere or whatever. They're getting that information, they're able to get moving quicker. Um, and then, uh, now also, uh, you know, the side benefits of that are going to improve your fuel efficiency, obviously. Uh, but two-way communication then, too. Uh, does the driver need to talk back to that dispatcher? Now, if, he, if they do, you've got a phone line tied up. Again, that dispatcher is not going to be able to take that phone call from somebody else, or they're going to have to be putting people on hold. So it gets your, basically quiets the phones down in the office. So, uh, so yeah, so that's uh, some good things there. Um, This is a simple uh, screenshot of what we do um, with the tracking. Um, shows your trucks, shows your calls, where they're at, out on the road. Again, using some sort of technology, finding who the driver is, where they're at, what's going on. Um, helps uh, make everybody happier. I had a customer several years ago, didn't do a lot of the dispatching anymore, but he was using our system with the, the TomTom interface uh, for the GPS tracking. And he, uh, he ended up having the dispatch to, to cover for somebody. He said it was absolutely awesome because he didn't talk to the driver almost all day. All he had to do was almost play like a video game doing his dispatching. So he was, he was saving all that time, you know, again, keeping things going. Now, as we get a little bit more advanced, obviously smartphones are getting smarter and smarter every day. We now have that ability, and a lot of people have that ability. Like I said, the motor clubs are starting to put all their stuff on the, on the smartphone apps, whether it's an iPhone or an Android have that ability to also do it mobily. So now you can be at the grocery store, dealing with the customer, take a call, enter the call into the phone, pick it up, assign it to a driver, see if they confirmed it, move on your way. So now, you're, again, you're not writing stuff down. <coughs> Chicken scratch onto a piece of paper that might get lost, might get stuck in the shuffle somewhere, and uh, potentially cause you to miss a bill of customer as well. And again, this is kind of a similar thing, but uh, we also have the ability to um, show those trucks on our map as well. Any questions? I was kind of... I have a couple. Yeah. Does this sync with the navigation system? It can. Uh, we cover some of the... Uh, when you're looking at a lot of the navigation systems, there are some that allow you to dispatch right to them. Like if, uh, I know Tom Tom's web fleet, you can go in there and type in something and text it out to the driver, right to their in-dash unit. That was um, going to be my second part of the question was, could you actually put the destination in their GPS so that they don't have to type anything in, it just shows up and starts to give them turn by turn Correct. from um, the office. If you do it through like the Tom Tom web fleet user interface, yes. What we do is we dispatch it out to that same same uh, mechanism. What we do is we uh, geocode coordinates of that call, 
and we ship it out to the TomTom as well. So yes, it will um, eliminate the typing for that driver to put anything into the um, in-dash unit. What do you call that TomTom what? TomTom web fleet. Okay, web fleet. Yeah. Any other questions? Okay. Um, I used, uh, when I was developing this, I looked at the driver workflow. To me, this is some of the most important part of the day. I mean, you know, if you're a driver or if you're an owner, you realize that the drivers are the ones out there making you money. Giving them the tools, like we were just talking with the GPS, if they've got a turn-by-turn -turn navigation. Now, I realize that TomTom -Tom may be perfect in uh, Metro Cleveland, but uh, when you get into west of Ashland or somewhere like that, they may not have as good a coverage. I and mean, it might be the Garmin's that pick up that, uh, uh, that detail. But uh, getting some kind of turn-by-turn -turn navigation like that does get your drivers to um, their incident location a little bit quicker. Um, and also uh, some of the units like the TomTom -Tom units and everything else now take into effect traffic. So uh, they know if they get an update that there's an accident somewhere uh, through their technology, they can actually route you around that, that incident, getting you to that customer uh, quicker. Um, I know a lot of people you know, greatly reduce their uh, fuel consumption by when they start using a GPS product as well. Uh, you can start turning around and uh, controlling the, uh, the speeds of the vehicle. You know, you might be able to see that a driver is driving 75 and a 65. It's going to, you know, you can set up that stuff in those programs to alert you. Start controlling that driver as well. Um, another nice thing about some of the GPS devices, if they're hardwired in, you'll know if your PTO has been engaged. There's reports that they'll give you. Now you can track that based on the calls that you assign to the driver. See if they're doing any kind of stuff, stuff on the side. So it allows you to uh, get the information as well. Um, <clears throat> So as far as the driver getting to where they're going, towing instructions. You know, when, when is uh, a driver's been on the side of the road? Maybe it's one of the new vehicles, a uh, new BMW or Mercedes, where you've got to use special uh, uh, the, the um, spare tire plus the lugs that are the nuts that are with it, I think, uh, some of that stuff. So towing instructions is also very nice. It gives you uh, tie-down points. Um, you know, I don't know if you've all heard of uh, towspec.com. Um, that's our towing instruction price. It's a lot similar to the uh, AAA um, instructional books. Um, <clears throat> job photos. You know, it'd be nice to be able to take, everybody's taking pictures now, the phones can store as many pictures you think about. Nice to take pictures, use, use the cameras to uh, take pictures of existing damage. Um, I know of a lot of customers that get calls after calls fighting uh, damage claims. Somebody scratched my bumper. Well, no, it wasn't done. A lot of the phones nowadays will actually record where that was done and the date stamp so you can actually see on the map when it was taken care of, when it was done. Um, you know, and then also now credit card processing. You know, a lot of people have heard of Square, um, Intuit has it. Uh, a lot of the companies now have the ability to uh, take credit card processing out in the field. By doing that, you're getting that signature capture rate in the field, plus you're getting the swipe rate from the credit card company. So it's great in reducing your uh, um, processing costs as well. Um, and then also, uh, you can, uh, some of the printers now will allow you to do all that stuff in the, in the truck as well. Um, we have the ability to tie all that into basically one program. Uh, with GPS technology, we do have the ability to track smartphones. Um, it'd be nice to send it out to the TomTom Tom if you're doing it as well. Um, you notice there's our uh, uh, toe spec. Uh, we have the ability to upload photos. We're actually uh, working on the ability now to add uh, drop signatures. So when you're dropping the vehicle, who did you leave that, the keys with, uh, get their signature, and we capture that information as well. Um, I know of a customer with the, the key pops, four or $500 a piece. Um, they're having a big problem out in the Arizona area. It's a big scam now that uh, the dealerships are doing. They want to charge you for those for those keys, so he's almost daily fighting them. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, so yeah, using technology in a lot of those areas, uh, I know that even some of the apps, I mean, some of these kids know more apps than I would even think about, but they'll give you waypoints and some of the um, more of the heavy duty stuff will, will give you some of the uh, um, way stations and, and uh, all the maintenance type programs as well. Um, getting into accounting, this is where I get, uh, I get very, um, adamant about uh, the accounting side of my customers. 
you guys are out there towing all these vehicles, doing all this stuff every day, day in and day out, make sure you build everything. Uh, the, those of you that do the motor clubs, you've heard of the term breakage. If not, breakage is what the motor clubs, the claim is gone. They claim that my breakage is no longer around. The breakage is built into their program. They know people are not going to build their, them for those calls. Sometimes it's on average of about 30%. So you can kind of get an idea of somebody doing 7 million calls a year that they're dispatching. 30% of those, even if it's 3%, is still too many calls that are not getting built. They'll pay you. They may not always pay you for the right mileage and everything else, but they will pay you if, if, if you do build that. Um, you know, so uh, using technology again, uh, you've got your if you if you're taking those calls, putting those calls into a system. Now you know what the driver should have done, how many calls they did, who you're going to bill them to. Hopefully, the software will, will tell you what needs to be billed out, and then also allow you to send that bill out as well. Um, <clears throat> Also, uh, doing your invoicing, you want to be able to invoice everybody from that system. Um, you know, whether it's QuickBooks or a, an Excel spreadsheet, whatever it might be, uh, we have the ability to do uh, uh, accounts receivable. Uh, you can email or fax your invoice out to the customer, uh, so you don't have to worry about sending things out. Um, <clears throat> with uh, motor clubs, we do have the ability to do automated billing. So we actually submit the calls right to the motor club's website for you. And then how many people pay your driver's commissions? Commission calculations, from what I've heard, can be hours, if not days, of, of time spent looking at every job that the driver did. How much did they get paid on this one? Um, or did they get paid? Or if you're doing a time of day comparison, maybe you're paying them hourly uh, during the day, and then at night they're getting, uh, they're getting a percentage for those calls. When did that job finish? Does he get commission or not? Those types of calculations can take a lot of time using some sort of technology i brag about ours but if you have everything set up you can pretty much do 100 calls inside of a minute or two um, if you have everything set up it's just that easy um, using that stuff and also you're accurately paying your drivers for what they did you're not having to worry about uh, you know maybe it's uh, with the motor clubs they short pay you um, you do have the ability to control what you pay your driver because the drivers i've never heard of a driver that doesn't want to try to turn in two or three miles more. They want to get that extra couple of bucks on their commission. With, uh, with the software and everything else, you do have the ability to control that as well. So it's cutting down on uh, overpays and uh, mispaying the drivers. Um, applying payments and uh, also tracking your receivables. If you're familiar with QuickBooks, you have the ability to go in and put all your, uh, reconcile your checks that you receive from your customers. Again, making sure that your receivables are all up to date, people are paying you on time. Uh, you know, again, it's much easier to use some sort of technology to control. Any questions? This syncs with QuickBooks. Then? We do have an interface with QuickBooks that works. QuickBooks third-party interfaces are very, very tough. Um, it will work um, if everything is done right. There's there's requirements the way the, the way the actual QuickBooks product was installed on the machine. Uh, we have found through testing that it. Uh, if it's done right, it'll work, it'll work every time after that. Uh, we have our own built-in accounts receivable. So then uh, what you're doing is you're putting in daily journal entries for your uh, deposit tickets and a monthly uh, journal entry for your sales. Um, I don't think QuickBooks, to me, QuickBooks does not give you the detail in your sales that we can give you. Um, you know, we're, we're built by towers. So when you start looking at your sales reports, well, you know, you can do sales by driver, sales by truck, sales by service, you know, sales by account type. A lot of things that you really got to get into QuickBooks and do. QuickBooks will give you that information. You just got to really dig into it and find it. Um, <clears throat> any other questions? I talked about the motor club billing. This is a typical screenshot of a customer of ours, um, their motor club billing. These calls were all dumped in in a matter of minutes. Um, I'm actually at, at our booth, we're actually demoing this. Uh, this customer has realized how to get his billing done quicker and cheaper is when I do it for him in a trade show. So he leaves me a bunch of calls for the week. Um, Impound lot management and, um, and automated lead processing. 
Uh, we're just getting started uh, in some of the states as far as lien processing. Some of the states, I think West Virginia, you got to go down to the tag office or uh, to the DMV. Um, I know in Florida, there's there's capabilities of searching the VIN, getting the owner, registered owner, uh, lien holder, and insurance companies from the from the state system. Uh, we're just getting started on doing some of that stuff here in the state of Ohio. Uh, we also do Tennessee. Uh, there's a handful of states that we do. Um, the idea there is is that we're going to save you all that time and energy by not having to search that information for yourself, generating the letter, going down to the post office, doing your certified letter, filling all that stuff out, and mailing it out. So you're saving all that time just by clicking the mouse button. Um, on the impound side, do you accurately track where your, your uh, vehicles are at? Who's released them? Um, you know, you can have uh, a lot of people have different yards in different parts of the towns, maybe different cities. Uh, are you able to look up what, that, what the yard across town has to know if a vehicle's been released or not. Using uh, some sort of technology, uh, you know, again, spreadsheets and stuff like that are very tough to manage and you always gotta continuously update them. Uh, software, a lot of the software packages out there now will allow you to manage impound. Everybody's got a little different uh, feature in what they do. Um, <clears throat> but with, uh, with a good software program, you've got the ability to quickly tell a person exactly what they owe. Um, and, uh, and then also if you need to release the vehicle at that point in time as well. Um, again, making a happier customer. Um, <clears throat> this is a little screenshot of our lean processing system. Um, again, saves you a lot of that time going in there and it's just cloud mouse clicks. Uh, it'll tell you when your next step is due, how much longer you've got to go until uh, maybe it's ready for auction or uh, if you need to do a newspaper article or second letters, it'll, it'll tell you all of that. Uh, again, another screenshot of some of this stuff there. And wrapping up. You know, as, as I talk about all this, a lot of this stuff, I got a, a customer of mine out in Arizona that uh, just ran into a situation this year where a driver was killed. Um, and it had a lot to do with the uh, customer wanted the job to be towed one place, but then they changed it and the price changed, obviously. And it got, uh, got to the point where the person actually, turns out the guy was just released from prison a month before that, uh, went into the uh, store where they were at to get some money, shot and killed the clerk, turned around, walked up and shot and killed the, uh, the driver. Um, it's a sad occurrence. It happens a lot, too many times. But, uh, you know, I, I've been at customers' offices doing training, and you see the people coming to the window yelling, bitching about what the price is. I shouldn't have had to do this. Well, again, the same thing is, is utilizing some of that technology makes it easier to deal with those people as far as accurately pricing them, quoting them. You know, they might have called in at three o'clock and said, you know, here are my price, and then they turn around and show up and the price is now higher. Why? You know, uh, so again, using using that stuff is going to make things uh, a little bit easier on, on my. Um, well, I got any questions, uh, any thoughts, any comments? I'm kind of buzzing through this. Um, that, that's about yeah, all I've got to say. All mine. What's that? You got so all you answered all my questions. So. Cool. Um, you know, it, like I said, it is your money. It's it, get technology, utilize some sort of software, even if it is a spreadsheet. At least it allows you to stay organized and get uh, get that stuff. Plus, it's it's a product or it's a file that can be stored on a computer or stored somewhere else that you know has your history. Uh, you know, too many times I've, I've heard of situations where drivers turn in tickets that are wet, dirty, messy, greasy, whatever it is. You know, they're chicken scratch. It's always hard to read their their handwriting. Um, using some of that stuff allows you to better process that stuff. You got more information. Customer that allows me to do the billing, he did what he does. Um, when the drivers are loaded, they'll call in, and one time that they call and talk to the dispatcher, dispatcher will confirm the VIN number and actually confirm that it's the vehicle that they're dealing with, and actually shoot an email of that invoice over to the dealership. So if it was a Majero call or an Allstate call that's going back to that uh, Chevy dealership or whatever it might be, 
They don't even know he's showing up. They didn't assign this call to him. But now the, the dealership, the, the service repair person's already got that invoice with them. And so when the driver shows up, they walk straight up to the front of the line, click it, and they're gone. So he's turning the jobs quicker and everything else. So those, those dealerships love him for that because they now know that that driver's coming in. They've got a very neat, clean ticket um, to deal with. They're not having to deal with the driver's you know, handwriting and everything else. So it's a, a nice bonus, nice feature. Let's do it pretty quick. So, like I said, I got any questions, I'll be more than happy to answer. Um, probably ask some things that a lot of people already know, but you get dispatch anywhere and a brief description of tow magic dispatch assistant. What what's the difference in these two products and do you need both of them to operate? If you're doing motor club work, um, our tow magic is think of it as the you know the new age uh, fax machine interface with the with the motor interfaces club. with the motor clubs okay. allows you to get calls digitally whether it's digital calls where you're not talking to anybody okay. faxes emails all right um, <clears throat> and you can run tow magic by itself so if you're just a motor club provider and you only you know if you're small you know maybe a smaller operation you can run tow magic without dispatch anywhere you can't necessarily dispatch calls through it but you can take those calls and keep them Dispatch Anywhere is the full call management product. Okay. So, and right. for us, those are our only two products that we charge for. Um, you know, everything you else. Like, for this? We have to, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> unfortunately. Uh, Toastspec is a free site. If you're not signed up for it, you know, go to toastspec.com. It's free to, free to log in. Uh, it gives you, all, like I said, it gives you all the towing instructions for vehicles. Um, and then, uh, our dispatcher and driver apps are uh, included in what we do. Um, so there's, you know, it, it is out there in the app stores, but unfortunately you do need to be a Dispatch Anywhere customer in order to uh, be able to set up the accounts to be able to use them. Well, I appreciate it. Thanks for coming out.